Welcome to a brand new series on this channel, which I'm calling Sub Six. Now, last year I did a half Ironman, an Ironman 70.3. Next year, my goal is to beat my time of six hours 40 and complete a half Ironman in under six hours, which means taking off over 40 minutes of my current time. Hence the name Sub Six. Now an Olympic distance triathlon is a 1500 meter swim followed by a 40 kilometer bike ride followed by a 10K run. Now for this particular triathlon, which I'm doing at Dorney Lake in Windsor, the bike is 38 kilometers. So it's considered a standard distance triathlon. I think this is literally because of the way the course is designed. We're definitely in the middle of nowhere. Oh, where does it? I don't know what I do here. We just came to check out the, uh, the venue, but it's it's shut, so no checking it out. Sorry, cows. Triathlete coming from. Oh my god! Wait, it's actual. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we are then. Uh, it's time to get everything ready for tomorrow. I've got myself the My Protein EAA electrolyte stuff. Absolutely amazing. Taste class. That is going to hopefully keep me from cramping up during the triathlon tomorrow. I've got all my water balls and stuff ready to go into my bike. Afterwards, I use uh, the Whey, again, my protein pro version. Um, this is actually like my daily essential. I use this with creatine every single day. And that's pretty much it. I've got my gels, I've got my breakfast ready for tomorrow morning. I'm hoping to go as hard as I can in all three of the disciplines and hopefully not cramp. Battling off the worst cramp ever. My right hamstring, my right calf, all just tinkering on the verge of cramp. As always, make sure you use the code BAKER when getting yourself your lovely my protein stuff. I need to go fill up all my water bottles, put my electrolytes in and get ready for tomorrow by having a nice, hearty, carby dinner. Hello. Can't get this bloody honey bagel down me. We're a little bit behind schedule, but hey, I'm sure we'll be fine. Today is the day we did my first ever Olympic triathlon. Quite cool that this is where the 2012 Olympic Rome was held as well. Team GB did very well in the run, I believe, from what I remember. Uh, race number on the back of your hand and pins and pens all over the table. <coughs> A little bit behind schedule. 13 minutes till the start. No warm ups done. <laughs> right, it's the day before, it's lunchtime. I've got my Simmer Eats meals, which is helping to fuel me for the triathlon tomorrow and has helped me since May cut 6% body fat. So shout out Simmer Eats. This isn't an ad for Simmer Eats by any means, but I have got you guys 25% off if you want to try them out. I absolutely love them. They're great guys over at Simmer. Ooh, we're from there. I come out here, I run from here. All right, this is it. The first part of the Sub 6 venture has begun. Kicking things off with the Olympic triathlon here at Dorney Lake in Windsor. Have I done enough training? The answer is always no. This is running a marathon with no training. The mistake I did was I went to Red Hot Chili Peppers on Saturday and got smashed. But in general, yeah, I've not done enough training. The goal is just to get through it, really. And if we get sub three hours, I'll be very, very happy, but a tough ask if I can do that. So the 1500 meter swim is a simple one loop lap of the lake. Ready. <laughs> My goggles keep steaming up. I'll tell you what, a lovely day for it. On your marks, go! That's wave three, standard distance, underway. Oh. 
jaw on the bottom. Mate, good time. Yeah. I bumped into someone just then at the end. And my left hamstring just cramped up. <laughs> Feeling good? Yeah. That's Love hard it. though. Love it. Shoulders are absolutely pinding. <laughs> Throughout the swim, similar to last year actually, I sort of found the first 400 meters as a bit of a warm up and I felt a bit ropey. But as soon as the first 400 meters were over, I started to get into my rhythm and I actually got stronger as the swim went on. <laughs> Surprisingly, when I came out of the water, I did it in 31 minutes, which was seven minutes quicker than my training swims had gone. So on the day, I obviously just performed under the pressure and I peaked at the right time and the swim went as good as it could have gone. <laughs> the bike consists of an eight lap course, which I believe works out to about 4.75 kilometers per lap. On the way out of the loop, you were cycling into a filthy headwind. It was awful. People were swearing going past me. They were effing and blinding. This headwind was no joke. On the way out, I was averaging around 25 kilometers an hour. On the way in, there was no tailwind because it was in the trees. So you had a headwind on the way out and zero tailwind on the way in. Go on, boy. Here we freaking go, man. Now don't fall off your bike, whatever you do. <laughs> I have a feeling, by the way, this run is going to be cramp heaven for me. Got about an hour 10 to get sub three. Oh, come on. I was averaging about 35 kilometers an hour, which I wanted to do for the entire thing. If that blooming headwind wasn't there, still very happy with the, with the bike. But if I want to break six hours next year for the half Ironman, the bike and the run are the two events that I really need to cut time on. The real time saving sections are the bike and the run. Oh. Hey, Fred. Hey, my legs are wobbly. <laughs> oh, why didn't I undo my shoelaces? Right, I've got to go absolutely sicko mode on this run. I've got to be so much quicker than this. Finally, you've got a two lap course for the 10 kilometer run. Two and a half K out, two and a half K in, and you do that twice. <laughs> I didn't bring my hat or my headband. Oh, mate. My legs are so soft. Fuck you. Yeah. So I go as hard as I can and hope I can handle it. If I cramp up, so be it. The plan for the run was exactly the same as the plan for the entire race. Go as hard as you can, hope your body can take it, and hope you don't cramp up. Rookie error leaving the headband in the wrong bag. Sweat dripping into my eyes. Oh my God, it's hot. I need that headband so bad. As I started the run, I started at around a five minute pace, which for me would have been on track for a 10K PB. And I pretty much held it the whole way. I'm actually feeling okay. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going faster than I planned. Feeling all right. Morale was good, which is a very good thing. We're at what, 4K in? 
So I went past him and I was like, yeah, I love your content. I was like, thank you. He was like, you should make triathlon content. I was like, see the Iron Man video? He was like, good luck, man, you got this. And I was like, good luck, man, you got this. Colby. Go on, you're Bosh. Bosh. Here we go, last lap. Like, that was nuts. Well, I, mate, unofficial was two hours 45. I can't believe that. Oh my god, I'm actually gassed. You know what, mate? From like four to seven K, my legs were so sore. And then I turned the bend, and I was like, oh, here we go. Oh my god. Do you know as well, the amount of people on that course that told me they'd signed up to a triathlon because of me. It's quite humbling. It's quite like, knowing that I inspire all these people is pretty crazy. Someone was doing their first triathlon because they watched me do the Seaford one two years ago. They watched it like a few months ago. Oh, oh I'm gas, mate. Well done you as well. That's unreal. Oh, I didn't cramp. <laughs> oh yeah. Sub six, welcome to my journey. We're going to be uploading regular installments of this series with the road to sub six, obviously next year. Hopefully you guys can follow along, drop a like, subscribe. And if you have any advice for me on how I can go about breaking sub six, apart from training my ass off, please let me know in the comments down below.